excited to start my future and start making money. That's my goal. So do you feel like there are severe consequences to your choices? Absolutely. And you gotta be able to accept them. There's consequences to everything. Really think about what you're doing and the lives you're gonna impact while doing it. You know, I'm not a bad person because of this. I don't know, I honestly just didn't think it would happen to me. You know, I've never, I wasn't that drunk. It didn't seem like it at least. And I figured I've seen other people do it, so why can't I do it? Hi, I'm Officer Hernandez with the California Highway Patrol. I'm looking for the parents of Nicole Lundy. Uh, they're not home right now. They're not home? Uh, they're on vacation. They're on vacation. And uh, what's your relationship with Nicole? Uh, I'm her brother. You're her brother? Her older brother. Her older brother, okay. How old are you? 20. 20? Okay. Can you confirm where Nicole uh, was going to school? Uh, Vasquez, Vasquez High School. Vasquez High School. Okay, is someone here with you? Yeah, this is my friend Amanda. Amanda, okay. Is it possible for me to come in? And uh, I fortunately have some bad news to give you. Can we sit down? Yeah. And what's your name? Dylan. Dylan, and you're 20, right? Yeah, 20. Okay. And uh, Amanda's your friend? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I'm here to give you some pretty bad news. Uh, your sister, Nicole, was involved in, like I said earlier, in a really, really bad traffic collision in front of Vasquez High. Uh, unfortunately, she didn't make it. She died there at the scene. She's dead. I'll give you a card. It has all the information about the uh, crash. Uh, there's a phone number on here as well for the uh, LA County uh, Coroner's Office. Uh, all the information you need to have is on that card, including that phone number. 
Okay, so what we can do is just, you can give your parents that information, but let's go ahead and just uh, get, get your cell phone and let's call your parents, okay? Prosecuted as an adult under California law, you've been convicted as an adult under California law, and now you have been sentenced accordingly. Your selfish decision to drink alcohol and then drive has forever, and I do mean forever, changed the lives of many in your school and in your community. And Mr. McGuire, there's no going back. You can't turn and say, I'd like to take it all back. I'm sorry. There is no going back. Three young people are dead. Madeline sitting here is permanently injured because of you and you only. Mr. McGuire, your attorney asked for mercy. Your mother asked for mercy. The problem is, Mr. McGuire, you showed absolutely no mercy for the victims in this case. I think the testimony were heard today in a split second. That's how quickly you took the lives of three young people, people that you knew from your school, including your mom, who I feel the pain because you put her in a untenable situation because of what you did. She's still your mom and will always love you, but she has to now face the community, face everybody, and the consequences of what you did. I hope those words that you heard today echo in your head for the rest of your life. When you crossed the center divider in your vehicle in this case and hit the victim's vehicle head on with a blood alcohol of 0.12 as the evidence showed, or if you were to take a gun and shoot each victim dead, the results are the same, the pain and suffering is the same, and you will be punished the same. Let this be a warning to all, everyone in this courtroom and everyone in this community. No matter how smart you may be, no matter how strong you may be, no matter how successful you may be, no one, and I mean no one, can avoid the physical and mental effects of alcohol and or drugs. So if you make the decision to drink and or to take drugs, you better make the decision not to drive or else you'll be the next defendant before this court.